Hidden among the lush jungles and sandy beaches of West Africa, there lies a city pulsating with energy and life. A city where the past and present come together in a vibrant blend of culture and tradition. Welcome to Accra, Ghana, a city that will take you on a journey through time. Imagine stepping back in time as you walk through the streets of the historic Jamestown neighborhood with its colorful colonial-era buildings and bustling markets. And then just a few minutes away, you're transported to the future as you stroll down the bustling streets of Osto, home to some of the best restaurants, bars, and nightclubs in the city. But Accra is not just a city of contrasts, it's also a city of resilience. Despite facing challenges such as poverty and political unrest, the people of Accra continue to persevere and strive for a better future. Living in Accra means immersing yourself in a unique culture and way of life. It's a city where tradition and modernity coexist and where the possibilities are endless. So come with us as we take a journey to the heart of West Africa and discover what it's like to live in the vibrant and ever-changing city of Accra, Ghana, in 2023. The Ghanaian people are diverse, with over 100 ethnic groups, each with their unique customs, traditions, and beliefs. Despite these differences, there are commonalities in the Ghanaian culture that make it unique and captivating. Culture and daily life Ghanaian culture is deeply rooted in traditional customs and practices handed down from generation to generation. The value placed on family and community is one of the most noticeable aspects of Ghanaian culture. Family is regarded as the cornerstone of Ghanaian society, and people frequently prioritize their family's needs over their own. Respect for elders and authority is another important aspect of Ghanaian culture. Young people are expected to respect their elders and those in positions of power. This respect is shown through greetings, such as the use of titles and honorifics when addressing people. Jollof rice, a spicy tomato-based dish made with rice, onions, peppers, and a variety of seasonings, is one of Ghana's most popular dishes. It is frequently served with chicken or beef and is a popular dish at social gatherings and celebrations. Fufu, a starchy staple made from cassava or yam, is another popular dish. It's usually served with soup or stew, and it's eaten by tearing off small pieces of fufu and dipping them in the soup. Street food is also an important part of Ghanaian cuisine, with vendors selling a wide range of tasty and inexpensive snacks. Popular street foods include keluel, which is spicy fried plantains, waki, which is a rice and bean dish served with a variety of sides, and grilled or fried fish which is frequently sold by the coast. The availability of public services, such as electricity, water, and sanitation, varies according to location and urbanization level. Ghana's architecture and history reflect the country's diverse cultural heritage and its evolution over time. The use of concrete, steel, and glass, as well as the emergence of new architectural styles, such as Art Deco and International Style, characterize this period. Independence Square and the Kwe Nkrumah Memorial Park are two notable examples of this architecture. Transportation and Infrastructure Ghana has an advanced transportation infrastructure that includes roads, railways, airports, and ports. The country has a highway system that connects major cities and towns, as well as a railway system that connects Accra, the capital city, to the rest of the country. In Ghana, public transportation consists of buses, taxis, and trotros, which are shared minivans used for short-distance travel, local economy, and job opportunities. Ghana's economy is one of the fastest growing in Africa, with several key sectors driving growth. Agriculture is the country's largest employer, with more than 60% of the population employed in farming and related activities. Coca, the country's main export, 
contribute significantly to the economy, as do other crops such as coffee, palm oil, and shea butter. The mining industry is also important to the economy, with the most important minerals being gold, bauxite, and manganese. Ghana is Africa's second largest gold producer and the world's seventh largest. Thousands of people find work in the mining industry, both directly and indirectly. Services such as finance, telecommunications, and hospitality also contribute significantly to the economy. Ghana is becoming a popular destination for tourists interested in cultural and historical sites, and the tourism industry in particular is expanding. In Ghana, there are numerous job opportunities, particularly in agriculture, mining, and the service sector. Farming, mining, hospitality, finance, and telecommunications are among the jobs available. The government has also implemented policies aimed at creating jobs, and promoting economic growth, such as the One District, One Factory initiative, which aims to establish at least one factory in each district in order to create jobs and boost the local economy. The job market in the country offers opportunities in agriculture, mining, and services, with the government enacting policies aimed at creating more jobs and boosting economic growth. Social and Political Climate Ghana's political climate is stable, with a multi-party democracy and a presidential system of government. Since its return to democratic rule in 1992, the country has held several peaceful elections, and the government has implemented policies aimed at improving the lives of its citizens. Ghana's local economy is diverse, with many industries contributing to its growth and development. While Ghana faces a number of challenges, such as poverty, inequality, and corruption, the government has implemented a number of programs to address these issues and improve the lives of its citizens. Overall, Ghana is a country with enormous potential for growth and development. Entertainment and nightlife. Music is an important part of Ghanaian culture, with a wide range of styles reflecting the country's various ethnic groups. High Life is possibly Ghana's most popular music genre, distinguished by its upbeat rhythms and use of Western instruments, such as the guitar and trumpet. Hip Life, which combines high life and hip-hop, and gospel music, which is inspired by Christian beliefs, are two other popular music genres. Ghana is also well-known for its dance styles, with Adawa, Kanlogo and Igbadza still being performed at cultural events and festivals. Azanto and Alpeida are modern dance styles that have emerged in recent years and are popular among the younger generation. Ghana hosts a number of festivals and events, each with its own cultural significance. The Homoa Festival, celebrated by the Ga people to mark the end of the rainy season and the beginning of the harvest season, is the most popular. The festival includes a number of cultural events, such as drumming, dancing, and feasting. Other popular festivals include the Chailwode Street Art Festival, which features street art, graffiti and music, and Panafest, a biennial festival that celebrates African and people of African descent's cultural heritage. Ghana's entertainment and nightlife scene reflects the country's diverse cultural heritage, with a wide range of music, dance, festivals, and events. Education and healthcare. Education and healthcare are vital components of the Ghanaian community, with the government investing in both to improve citizens' quality of life. Ghana has a high enrollment rate of over 90%, because primary education is free and compulsory. The country has also made significant advances in healthcare, with a network of hospitals and clinics providing both primary and specialized care to its citizens. The government has implemented a number of programs to improve access to healthcare, including the National Health Insurance Scheme, which provides health insurance to all citizens. Education and healthcare are vital components of the Ghanaian community, with the government investing in both to improve citizens' quality of life. While the sector continues to face challenges, 
Ghana has made significant progress and is committed to addressing these issues in order to ensure the well-being of its citizens. Weather and climate. Ghana has a tropical climate with two distinct seasons, the dry and rainy seasons. The rainy season lasts from April to October, while the dry season lasts from November to March. Temperatures can reach 35 degrees Celsius during the dry season, while the rainy season is marked by heavy rainfall and high humidity. Nature and Outdoor Activities Ghana has many natural attractions, such as national parks, wildlife reserves, waterfalls, and beaches. Some of Ghana's most popular natural attractions include Kakum National Park, a variety of wildlife, including forest elephants, monkeys, and antelopes, can be found in this national park. The park also has a canopy walkway that provides visitors with a unique view of the rainforest. Mole National Park, it is home to a variety of wildlife, including elephants, baboons, and warthogs. Visitors can go on a safari to get a close look at these animals. Lai Waterfalls, with a height of 80 meters, the Lai Waterfalls is Kana's highest waterfall, Mole National Park. It is home to a variety of wildlife, including elephants, baboons, and warthogs. Visitors can go on a safari to get a close look at these animals. Lai Waterfalls, with a height of 80 meters, the Lai Waterfalls is Ghana's highest waterfall. Hiking to the waterfall is an option for visitors who want to take in the scenery along the way. Cape Coast Beach, with golden sand and crystal clear water, this beach is one of Ghana's most popular. On the beach, visitors can swim, sunbathe, and relax. Lake Volta, the largest man-made lake in Africa, it allows visitors to take a boat cruise and explore the surrounding villages and islands. Aside from these natural wonders, Ghana offers a wide range of outdoor activities, such as hiking, mountain biking, bird watching, and fishing. Ghana's natural environment offers a diverse and unique experience for visitors, with a variety of natural attractions and outdoor activities to explore. Meeting and interacting with locals. Meeting and interacting with locals to gain insight into their daily lives is one of the unique experiences of visiting Ghana. Visitors can participate in cultural activities like drumming and dancing, as well as visit local markets and sample traditional Ghanaian cuisine. Meeting and interacting with locals is also an opportunity to gain a deeper understanding of Ghanaian culture and way of life. Whether you're looking for an adventure in nature or a cultural experience, Ghana has something for everyone. Personal experiences. Living in Ghana can be a rewarding experience for many people who appreciate the friendly people, rich culture, and opportunities for advancement. Some expatriates, for example, enjoy the lower cost of living and the opportunity to work on development projects that have a real impact on local communities. Furthermore, many Ghanaians are proud of their country and enjoy sharing their culture with visitors from other countries. Potential challenges and how to overcome them. Finding suitable housing is one of the most difficult challenges for expatriates in Ghana. While there are numerous options, finding a home that is safe, secure, and meets their needs can be challenging. To find a suitable home, it is critical to conduct neighborhood research and work with a reputable real estate agent. Navigating the bureaucracy and paperwork required for visas, work permits, and other official documents is another challenge for expatriates. To avoid delays or complications, it is critical to work with a reputable immigration lawyer and plan ahead of time. Language barriers can also be an issue especially for people who do not speak the local languages. However, many Ghanaians speak English, the country's official language, and there are many language schools for those who want to learn a local language. Living in Ghana can be a rewarding experience, but it is critical to be aware of potential difficulties and plan accordingly. Expats and locals alike can enjoy all that Ghana has to offer by working with reputable professionals being aware of cultural differences 
and being open to new experiences. We hope you enjoyed this video and would love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Please remember to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't as it helps our content reach more people. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.